After he died, he unraveled the mysteries of Sol's journey on Earth. Do you want to know what happens after we die? Imagine uncovering the secrets of the soul's journey on Earth after passing away. Join us as we dive into a gripping tale of a friend's near-death experience, a journey beyond the mundane into a realm of bright tunnels and enlightening conversations with celestial beings. But here's the twist, what if returning to Earth isn't just a choice, but a contract? What if memories of the afterlife hold the key to navigating life's toughest challenges, Tune in to explore the mysteries of life, death, and the universe, and discover why some souls choose to return. Are you ready to unravel the enigma? Everyone, welcome. Today, let's journey through an extraordinary story shared by a friend who went through a profound near-death experience, NDE. This tale takes us beyond our everyday lives into realms where souls travel through a bright tunnel and have enlightening conversations with celestial beings about the purpose of their time on Earth. This incredible journey started when our friend noticed similarities between their own NDE and stories they heard about on various platforms. As they delved deeper into these shared experiences and explored other others, it felt like they finally found validation for a long-held quest for understanding. For years they had dismissed their own encounter as just a dream, only sharing it with a few close people, including the one who introduced them to these revealing narratives. Their NDE happened shortly after they turned 30, following the passing of their mother. With no immediate family they had to arrange her funeral alone, adding unexpected weight to their shoulders. Raised as an only child by their mother a practice considered unusual at the time their mother's journey was one of unwavering strength. Even their own grandparents had suggested putting them up for adoption. But their mother defied that suggestion, bringing them into the world and working tirelessly as a waitress to provide for them both. By the time they turned 28, their mother was diagnosed with cancer and by their thirtieth year she had passed away. The day was consumed by funeral arrangements, and at night they found themselves overwhelmed with financial worries and deep sorrow. As they lay in bed, tears staining the sheets, exhaustion took over, and they fell into a deep sleep. But their rest was disrupted by intense chest pain upon waking up. In a panic, they rushed to the medicine cabinet but collapsed on their way back to bed. Yet, as consciousness slipped away, they felt themselves floating above their lifeless body. A strange detachment enveloped them, the physical form below held no appeal, its impermanence clear. Then an incredible sight unfolded a tunnel, a passage beyond the ordinary, materialized above the bathroom doorway, drawing them in. Driven by an irresistible force, they moved forward, joining other radiant orbs, all moving toward a distant, brilliant light. In that profound moment, the mysteries of the universe unfolded an intricate understanding of math, science and history flooded their consciousness. The radiant light, their true essence, surrounded them with its brilliance. All negativity and pain dissolved, replaced by boundless love, an endless warmth. As they approached the source they transcended the constraints of time, encountering an eternity without bounds. In this place, time didn't seem to matter much. Time, something humans made up, only really counts here on Earth, where we're all mortal. Getting closer to that bright light, he felt like he belonged somehow, merging with its powerful glow. Then it hit him there were loads of other glowing orbs around, all part of some bigger connection. Suddenly he was pulled away from the light and surrounded by a vast, featureless white space with no doors or windows. Here, time didn't control anything, and he didn't feel hungry or thirsty. Instead, he got all wrapped up in complicated math problems, trying to figure out the mysteries of the universe. While he was lost in thought, a giant figure appeared, looking all angelic and towering at about nine feet tall. Dressed in a flowing white outfit with a shiny gold belt, the angel greeted him warmly, asking we meet again, don't we what did those mysterious words mean? The angel spilled the beans about his previous visits to this spiritual place, choosing to come back to earth. 
When souls leave Earth for the first time, they usually forget everything about their time here a common move for souls, starting out on their earthly journey. Earth, where life's toughest challenges happen, makes souls think hard about whether to keep their memories of this place or not. Confused, he asked the angel, why did I come back? The angel just smiled more and said, you must have had your reasons, maybe he had some unfinished business here or missed his loved ones too much to stay away. Whatever the reason, it was a big choice with big consequences. As the angel shared some wisdom, he started to understand life, death, and the universe in a whole new way. Hanging out in that white space gave him a fresh perspective on everything. Even though he still wanted to get back to that glowing light, he knew he had his own path to follow now. The angel stressed the importance of free will, saying that the decision to come back and what to do next was all up to him. No one was forcing him to leave the afterlife, but the angel couldn't explain why he chose to come back to Earth, except to say that he'd made the choice twice before. Confused, he couldn't wrap his head around how he could make a decision without understanding why he made it in the first place. Then, out of nowhere, the angel pulls out this contract a deal he made before coming to Earth. In it were all the goals he set for himself while here. Reading through it, memories flooded back the urge to leave for Earth and the longing to return home. He figured coming back with those memories intact would help him tackle whatever life threw at him like some kind of warrior ready to take on anything. With that realization, he felt like he was starting a whole new journey, one where he didn't forget where he came from. Waking up on the floor, he felt weird, like he didn't quite fit in his own body. The chest pains were gone, replaced by this deep sadness that overshadowed even his missing his mum. He felt like his soul was searching for something more, like it needed some kind of guiding light. He spiralled into despair, feeling like he was stuck in this never-ending sadness. Eating and sleeping became chores, and even simple stuff felt impossible. Eventually the fog of depression started to lift, but doubts hung around like stubborn clouds. Was any of what he went through even real? As time passed, he opened up to his friends about what happened, hoping for some kind of reaction. Some said it was just a dream, while others blamed it on his fall. Only one friend thought it might have been a near-death experience, a thought he initially brushed off but now thinks might be true. It's comforting to think his mum's moved on to a better place wherever that is. Even though he wishes for a life review like the one he glimpsed, he keeps his goals to himself, afraid of what others might think. His memories of that angel encounter might be fuzzy, as time tends to mess with how we remember things. He's thankful for the chance to share his near-death experience and hopes people will respect his story, no matter what they believe. Thanks for listening and supporting him. Your views mean a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, take care.